What's up, guys? So, I wanted to kind of do a little, I kind of wanted to do like a little segment, <clears throat> I don't know, maybe once a month, I don't know, but I want to do something that's like, I'm thinking about doing stories with Simon, but originally I was thinking about doing Simon Says, but I don't want you guys thinking that this is supposed to be like I'm telling you what to do thing. So, I might just go with stories with Simon. Um, comment below which one you like better. Um, this one's probably just gonna be called Story Time, and then I'll adjust the title later after I get the feedback. I really do need you guys to, um, give me some feedback though, because I'm not sure either way. I like kind of both of them, but, I don't know. Just let me know which one you like better, and comment below. Um, so I don't know how long this video is gonna be. But, you're definitely going to want to bring about something to munch on. Um, maybe some water, some tea, coffee, wine, anything. If you don't like smacking or eating while watching a video or anything like that, um, then you might want to click off now. That's why I'm not eating anything now, so that way you can know what all this is going to be about. If you don't like, um, smacking of the lips or anything, or people just eating, period, while recording, obviously, um, then you might not want to check this out, because it's supposed to be like a real personal, almost like a tea time, um, or a get-together time, where you kind of learn a little something about me, or something I've experienced. So, that's something I want to do with you guys, and, um, yeah, so this is going to be about a time that I released uh, spirit from the other world. So, you'll see me look down a bit because I have a plate of breads. <laughs> One thing that you guys should know is that I love bread. So, I have banana bread, um, carrot bread, pumpkin bread, and cranberry. And I have my water. Ooh! That didn't get mixed up very well. Um, so, I think the best way to start the story is to first tell you why I was dabbling with spirit work anyway. So, I was 14, I think. Almost positive. By the way, I want to let you know, um, the sun is setting. And depending on how long this video goes, I may have to pause it and turn the light on. So you might see a light shift. Just want to throw that out there. So, I was 14, let's see, and um, I was doing, I was trying to um, open the veil so I could interact with my grandmother because I wasn't coping very well with her passing. She had passed when I turned nine. Well, not when I turned nine, but when I was already nine. And so, I, and I wanted to kind of, I don't want to say get her back, but I did want to have an experience. You know what I'm saying? Um, when I decided to embark on witchcraft and all that, um, one of the things, that was one of the things I decided to go about. Now, mind you, this is, um, many years ago, I was not very well-equipped to do so. Well, I mean, I was well-equipped, but I did not cast a circle. I didn't have an amulet. I didn't have any means of protection set up for myself. So you can already see what's going to happen here. So, I um, successfully get through, she crosses over and everything, and one of the first things she said is that, you shouldn't have done that. So right away, I'm already getting scolded. <laughs> and I said, I don't care, I had to see you, and I'm over here crying and everything, because I'm just so happy that it actually worked, and that she's here for me, oops, to see 
and communicate with again. You know what I'm saying? So, all that I used, I think, was a white candle, honestly. Yeah, I don't think I used anything else. But, I, um, I can't even remember what I said. Yeah, I can't remember what I said. But, it doesn't really matter because it's all about your intention. But, when we crossed, she crossed over and we talked and everything, and she said it was time for her to go back and all that. So I sent her back, and then, what was it that I did? I think I tried closing the door or something like that. And, yeah, she came back out before I could do that. And said that, and I'm assuming that the Great Spirit, Black Madonna, God, Goddess, Universe, Cosmos, whatever you want to call it, um, is what told her to come back out. But uh, she came back out, and she told me that you've released several spirits, that they've came out, because, oops, when I opened the doorway, I didn't close it after she walked through. So it was basically like leaving the gate to your garden open, okay? So, all of these spirits came out. They're running, frolicking amongst the neighborhood. And I was so busy just paying attention to her that I didn't notice them. But, you know, just before she came back and said something, I kind of thought I saw some white light-shaped beings running around in my neighbor's yard. And a yard next to them. They're neighbors, so to speak. So, I'm like, well, I don't know how to fucking do this. Realizing now, just what she meant by, you shouldn't have done this. Oops, hat's almost fallen off. And so, thankfully, this is how I know that when spirits cross over, they obtain um, lots of wisdom and spiritual knowledge. Because, what we did, and yes I said we, is we both... Mm. Drew the spirits into the light, the candle flame of that light, I mean. Um, kind of like moths to a flame. And then shot them back to the portal of the other world. Now, th this was mostly her, because I didn't know how to do this. I didn't have all that energy work understood or anything like that. I don't even think I knew about Pendulum yet. Um, but, so she's kind of channeling herself through me, using my body as a conduit to kind of bring back and corral the spirits back into the other world. So, they um, get absolved or, well, not absolved, but they get absorbed by the light of the flame, of the candle. And then they get shot out like a cannon into the portal, and I'm over here like... Like, I'm just, like, completely baffled. I'm like, holy crap! Grandma's a kick-ass woman right here. She's, she's like, superwoman. Because I know I'm not doing this, because I don't know what the fuck is going on. And I definitely just... I just was completely shocked, and I was like, thank goodness my grandma knows what to do, because this would be so bad <laughs> if I did not, if those spirits were left, that could be bad, like, who knows what kind of spirits they were, I mean, they could have been good spirits, they could have been playful spirits, they could have been malevolent spirits, who knows? I'm not going to assume that they were too good. 
if they were sneaking out of the other world. But, maybe they were just, I don't want to say homesick, but missing their loved ones and worried about them. And they saw an opportunity and took it, so it is possible that they were good. But, regardless, they weren't supposed to be out of the other world. I hope this lighting is good enough for you guys. Um, I'm trying to, like, lean into the window here, so that way you can see me. But, it was just, it was completely crazy. Let me do this. There we go. It was completely crazy. Just seeing how many spirits, like, I think there's about 20 spirits, at least, that ran out of the portal. And were just scampling around. I mean, there was... Okay, so when they got absorbed by the light, it was like light beams. Like, you know, a spirit is basically energy. So their form was turned into a light beam. It was like like a vacuum. It sucked it in. And it, as they got sucked, they got turned into a light beam into the flame of the candle. They got pulled in. And so there was some coming from behind me. I was like, holy shit. There was coming from over here. Some in from in front of me. From, like, all directions. And it was just so crazy to see um, just how many spirits have had escaped. And I felt so bad. I was like, holy shit. Because of my selfishness and my ignorance of knowing how to handle this, this could have been really bad, you know? And I didn't know what to do, and I'm lucky that my grandmother knew how to handle it. Because if it wasn't for her, those spirits would probably still be out and about today. So, let my experience be a lesson to you guys. When you're first starting the craft... Don't dabble in um, ghost work, spirit work. Um, the only spirit work you should be dabbling in is of the great spirit, the, the godhead, the cosmos, the universe, whatever you want to call it. That's really the only spirit work you should be dabbling in. Don't dabble in um, demons. Um, I'd even stay away from angels just because... I mean, if you're going to dabble in spirit work, besides the great spirit, then do angels. Then maybe progress to fae. Then um, maybe progress to your ancestors. Then progress to um, general spirits. And then maybe demons. Okay? Um, but, honestly, you really shouldn't be dealing with any forms of entities until you know what it is you're doing. Okay? And that means you definitely have to know how to protect yourself. You have to know how to protect the spirit. Okay? So, you have to create anything from, like, a square, a circle, triangle, a little plate of herbs, something that's going to... Energize the spirit, so keep it sus sustained while it's on the physical plane, and also protect it from any um, energetic occurrences that are happening out there that you may or may not be able to see, and also any um, spirits, any other spiritual beings, any other entities that you may or may not see. So, that's one thing you have to do, because you have to be respectful that you're taking them out of their realm. Or maybe not taking them out of their realm, per se, because they do have free will. They can choose to not come to your call if they so desire. But you are um, opening the door to their realm, and your own realm, so to speak. Um, so you're putting yourself and them in danger of something escaping either your world or theirs, and entering either your world or theirs. So you have to create some form of protection for yourself. So this is good um, 
you basically will want to know basic circle casting, um, definitely multiple means of protection, uh, maybe crystal work, stone work, definitely herbs, know what herbs are good to use for spirits, like sage is, um, well, in my practice, I don't use any form of sage because it's a ward um, to the spirits. <clears throat> now, I know some people will use sage and they get fine results. Um, that That's not my case. That's why you'll see me using willow leaf wands, um, willow leaf smudge wands, um, instead of sage leaf. And you'll also see me using dandelion leaf with them as well because of divinatory purposes but make sure that you protect yourself make sure that you sustain them and protect the spirit or spirits that you're working with and oh excuse me pardon me make sure that you are also closing the door behind them <laughs> don't leave it open okay and make sure you know how to properly close the door and seal it, or lock it, or whatever term you deem is appropriate. Basically, the point is, you don't want any motherfuckers getting back out there. You don't want anyone from your realm going into their realm. You don't want anyone from their realm coming into your realm. And I'm going to pause this for a moment and turn the lights on. Okay. So I know the lighting is not so great, um, but I ran out of daylight. So, as I was saying... Just make sure that you know what you're doing. Don't go in it because... Don't be selfish. Don't be... Clingy or needy. Um, it's best to not do that. If you just lost someone. Or recently lost someone. And the reason why is because you're not going to be thinking clearly. As you can tell by my story that I just shared with you. So, just be mindful, be careful, be respectful, um, and as long as you do that, you should be okay, you know? It's all about your intentions, it's all about your attitude that you bring, if you bring in respectful energies, or even just like perfect love, perfect trust, or just a, if you don't understand what that means, like a pure heart with good intentions. You may still fuck up, and that's okay. We're human. That's what we do. We, we mess up, and we have to learn from it, and we have to accept whatever consequences we get. Now, what I also suggest is... Okay, you really need to know what you're doing. But, if you think you know what you're doing, like you feel certain, and you go about and you end up finding that you don't, or that something happened that you, um, didn't realize could happen, or something like that, um, because, you know, sometimes that shit happens, and you feel like you've spent a lot of time researching and learning, and you go about to do it, and then shit hits the fan, and you're like, holy fuck, what am I supposed to do? Well, don't be afraid to call on spirit for help, or, um, depending on what spirit you're working with, um, be willing to accept their help if they give it to you. Because they know what they're doing. They live in that world. They know what it takes to get the job done. And that's why it's also good to work with spirits. And to know how to properly open and close the door. And you know bring them into this world so you can learn from them. Because they have this... Um, crazy amount of knowledge and if you can work with them respectfully and carefully and responsibly then you can really progress on this physical plane and you can be a great teacher or i don't like using that word especially when it comes to spirituality um but you can be a good informer or guide or let's just put it away, a good person who shares information, valuable information, with those who want to learn how to do that and may be afraid. So, that's my story. As I said earlier, please comment below on what you thought about the story. 
if you have any of your own inputs in regards to the story or maybe you have a story of your own that's similar to this you can share it below um, I also want to ask you guys again please um, kind of doing a little poll here pick which one do you like better story times with Simon or Simon says so comment below which one you think is appropriate and depending on how many of which name is written about first I mean more of will be the one that I pick and I'll create a whole playlist I'll make a playlist for this video and it will be uploaded with the other videos of course so but yeah this is something I think I want to do uh, I don't know if I'm gonna do like on a specific day I don't know maybe I'll do it on like full moon night I, I, mean, I know today it's like what two days after the full moon kind of close but I don't know, maybe that's something I'll do. I'll try and upload it every full moon. So that way, kind of have a little special, special session with each other. So I'm going to go and finish the little end bits of my braid. I hope you enjoyed this story. Don't forget to comment below on what I mentioned earlier. And as always, blessed be my dear witchlings.